What's up everyone, it is Baron here. Welcome to another video, chickies. If you enjoy the videos, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Check out the links in the description. We're going to get all that out of the way. Don't forget to check out our merch now. We do have some new merch. But we're going to get straight into this. So, I don't know if anyone's already seen this. I'm going to guess that you all have. But pretty much in this video, there are 5890 jumps. And this must mean a little bit to coordinate. But I just want to talk about... That the magnitude of the server being able to handle this must have been a little bit overwhelming for the server that was obviously holding all of this. Now I did hear that the server had crashed after this. Saying that, what would the fact of the matter be with, and I think that's an A2 in the background, it looks like an A2, um, what would the fact of the matter be that, you know, when Pyro comes and the Banu Merchman is finally released, are the servers going to be strong enough and eventually obviously being meshed together enough to be able to handle as many eight, uh, well, Banu Merchmans as there is here of 890 jumps. And what I mean is, yes, these are basic servers right now, they aren't the best, but will the new server, well not the new servers, but will the new server meshing tech that's coming be able to handle 50 Banu Merchmans being spawned in or at least a hundred being you know um, so many people are going to spawn these in for the simple fact that everyone wants to go on their Banu Merchman everyone wants to go and have a look around it and there's going to be like probably a hundred to two hundred people per server there could be even more uh, ignore that <laughs> um, this creates a new conversation of what, you know, how good are these servers and this tech going to be to allow us to spawn this many many Banu Merchantmen? And will there be the tech and the back-end tech in place, my bird is just annoying me, in place to actually function and handle the amount of traffic that there's going to be and the amount of um, quote-unquote capital ships that will be spawned? Um, now, this probably won't always be the case, obviously being that, you know, the launch day of Pyro and the Banu Merchman is going to be a big day. It's going to be a real test for the servers of it being flooded with people and Banu Merchman's being spawned, all different ships, all different people going from um, Stanton over to Pyro to check out the new system. I don't know if you'll be able to spawn there, but it's just going to create that sort of competition for the servers to see if they will actually be able to handle this type of spawn method for ships if that makes sense now they probably won't always be in one area but there will be a good um you know a good point to be made that you know if you're at a station um like everest and you're going to spawn there's obviously only a certain amount of docking ports that you'll be able to spawn at and hangars now being that you know there will be people down on lawville as well spawning them will there be the right tech in place for them to you know to back them up so that when one spawns and leaves another one spawns and leaves now I know that tech sort of seemed a little bit flawed um, recently but it just begs to the fact that I hope they really do think about the fact that the servers will, should be in a good spot to handle this sort of traffic and I hope that they um, don't turn a blind eye to it pretty much and that they actually think about what's going to happen throughout these this launch when the ships are getting spawned now the fact that you know we will have server meshing could mean that we could have four to five hundred people per server so think about that um and the server having to handle all of that information and all of that physical data that is going through the pipe, <laughs> the pipe lines over my bed won't get off my arm. But it just makes me think and hope that they will be in a better spot than what they are now with server meshing or without server meshing to be able to spawn the amount of banded merchants that will be spawned because it's going to happen. And this is something that I think about on a regular basis because there's people aren't not going to spawn their banner merchants and i know people will think that you know well, they can just go to their friends banner merchant but that's not always going to be the fact everyone wants to jump on their own banu merchantman and see how it works use the guns play around with it now 
you know there may be people out there that don't have them but there's definitely going to be a minority out there that have them and want to spawn them and I know people with multiple banner merchants. So will they spawn one and then let a friend take it and then, you know, continue on with three banner merchants of their own out there? Or will they just get the one out and everyone will can tour the one? Because I know for myself, I know that people want to tour one with me, but I want to take the time by myself to take the banner merchant out into deep space and tour the ship and do a video on it and sort of go through a detailed in-depth view over the ship. So who's to say that there's not going to be another 50 people that are thinking the same thing and then spawn that ship in as well. I know it might sound like I'm rambling on right now, but I'm trying to create the conversation and hopefully get people thinking that these servers and the back-end tech for server meshing needs to be in a really good spot to be able to handle this because this here, this image, was before the server crashed. Now, that might not always be the case, but it's... a this case here so you know it's quite compressed as well they're in like in one area so if they were spread across the system would that be a little bit easier on the server or would it you know still be the same because everyone's in that one area everyone's having to render in the ships so being that the Banu Merchman is you know not, not really as big as the, the 890 jump but it is wider and it does have a bit more girth to it but could this cause the same issue in the servers with server meshing I know I keep saying server meshing but you have to think about this and see where I'm coming from and what's to happen in these next patches and when 4.0 really does come in and sort of get people's minds ticking over because I can just see this being an issue upon launch day and it's just it could create a massive repercussion back to CIG I hope it doesn't I hope they have everything figured out I hope everything's you know going as um, smoothly as they want it. I hope they've done the proper testing. I've heard they have done testing in the past with server meshing so I don't know what the goal is with that but I really do hope that they have everything figured out. That's all I wanted to talk to you about today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments what you thought. If you liked it, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't, leave a dislike. We'll see you in the verse. Bye-bye.